a highly infectious new strain of COVID called the Delta variant is raising alarm all over the world. So what do we know about this? The Delta variant, scientifically termed as B16172, contains mutations from two separate variants. But the Delta variant is a new name assigned by the World Health Organization. It was earlier called the Indian variant because it was first found here. Now, it has spread to other nations too. So why has it become a worrisome strain? That's because research suggests it may be the most transmissible variant yet. Experts believe it is between 40 and 50% more infectious than the Alpha variant first reported from the UK. It sparked the huge wave of infections across India in the second wave. Now, it is causing a concern in the UK where it comprises 91% of the new cases. And it makes up more than 10% of new cases in the US. It has also spread to 74 countries worldwide on every continent apart from Antarctica. It's not only more transmissible, research also suggests it can cause an increased risk of hospitalization. The WHO has classified the Delta as a variant of concern. Fever, cough and loss of smell are the classic COVID symptoms. However, a new study in the UK shows the symptoms may be changing due to the rise of the Delta variant. Headaches, sore throat, runny nose which resemble a cold are the most common symptoms of the strain. What about the vaccines? Do they work against Delta variant? Several studies suggest the Delta variant seems to have stronger resistance to vaccine than other variants do. But there is also evidence that COVID shots are working against it. Latest research suggests the Pfizer vaccine was found 96% effective in preventing hospitalization after two doses, while AstraZeneca was 92% effective. So people need to be fully vaccinated for these two doses to be effective. The team behind the Sputnik vaccine, meanwhile, tweeted that theirs was more efficient against the Delta variant than any other vaccine. But they haven't published the results yet. Early studies show Covaxin also offers protection against Delta. The highly transmissible Delta variant has now further mutated to form Delta Plus. The earliest sequence of this genome was found in Europe in March this year. Now, the strain is in nine countries including India, US, UK, Russia, among others. It is now a variant of concern and the centre has asked states to take immediate steps to contain the spread, increasing testing and vaccination in areas that are seeing a rise in the number of cases. Experts in Maharashtra have warned that this variant might affect more than the first and the second wave. And the active COVID cases might rise to 8 lakh in the state. The bottom line is that viruses are meant to mutate. And there is no definite answer as to how many times it will change. Yes, the vaccinations are slowly picking pace. But no one is safe until everyone is safe. COVID is still very infectious. And it's important that we don't let our guard down, not just for this variant, but others that will emerge too.